in university in the Kaya district as a mural was unveiled today that showcases the work of 10 art students. With little to no experience in art, these students were able to dabble with brushes and paint to produce this work of art that now sits in one of the university's classroom. Fernanda Cruz is the art instructor who took pride in today's unveiling ceremony. And we started looking at the point of actually then taking and showing them how to prepare a wall because a wall cannot be dumped, it needs to be plastered, it needs to be primed, you know, but also to take a design and the way how to, to be able to grid it, to transpose it, to, to make it bigger. Also taking them through, through drawing. Some of these, some of these students have, have never picked up a pencil and drawn. But the idea was actually also to actually build confidence. You, do, you, you just, um, I mean, the, 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 the class was not only about painting a wall, but they wanted to build their confidence. What I wanted to, to do with them was to, was to build this, this, this thing within them to say, you know what, look, you can do it. And when I told them, I said, you know what, you guys will be painting a mural within two days. They never believed it. Murals can be found in many parts around the world. They are not only used for artistic expressions, but to convey messages. The Galen mural is more of a symbolic nature, however. The painting depicts the problems that the country is currently grappling with. What the, the students have actually put here, where they, they decided to take a, a, a topic of the migration of, of people, the unity of people, and also the whole environmental problems that, that Belize and the world is having. So if we look at the, the side of the wall from, from left to right, we're looking at um, the image of a, of a woman. But if you see the way she's painted, she's painted in, in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in a mixed dimension. Also, her, her hair is, is, is um, two, two different styles. It's actually just a representation of, of the, mul the multicultural aspect of, of Belize, but also of, of the world. The, this part of the wall itself is looking upon a point of, of migration and people moving for economic reasons, people moving for, um, for um, the, the fair for their lives, people moving because they want a, a better livelihood. The Duende is depicted as a guy who protects the forest. So he is not one of the happiest guys whenever he comes down to deforestation. The concept of the spider monkey was put there because in reality the way how the spider monkey walks upon two legs and he also has only four fingers on each hand, that's probably why they're thinking that maybe some people think that they see the duende but they actually see a spider but actually what they see is a spider monkey the bill that they just passed concerning um, the ban on, on plastics i think is a is a beautiful thing because i think also you know what we 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 have to we have to look towards the towards the point that one of the biggest problems third world countries have is their love for plastics third world countries love plastics and that and that has made third world countries the biggest polluters of a, of their own environment because of plastics so that is what um, the, the students wanted to, to depict here, and, and it's not only plastic bags, bags, it's plastic bottles, you know, it's, 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 um, it's, it's old tires. Everything seems to end up at, at the river, from there ends up to the sea. But we have to think about it, you know, environmentally, that we drink from that same water, we bathe in that same water. So what, what are we doing to, to ourselves? The nine-week elective art class saw a cohort of four males and six females engage in mural production as a part of their final assignment. When it was all said and done, even they were stunned at the final production. In the beginning of this semester uh, was very challenging because none of us in the class had experience when it comes to painting, drawing, and um, we were a bit excited about it because we found out we had an, an entire wall to paint and um, some of us were a bit nervous as to how we would get this done but um, the teacher provided us with a breakdown of how this will be done and he took us through it step by step and um, we are very much satisfied with the outcome of it. This art course definitely exercised our creativity. I feel like doing art and painting really it really takes you away from the troubles of your life. And I could relate to the artists where they actually have that passion for art because it really, art has that power to really engage you so fully that you just forget all the troubles. It was a form of expressing my emotions, my feelings towards things that are happening uh, in today's world, like when it comes to our environmental problems, when it comes to the politics of things. All of that is expressed through the, through the mural. The mural measured 8 by 33 feet and was done using acrylic paint. Galen's provost, Dr. Eve Eard, explained 
that not only is it an accomplishment for the students, but a symbol of pride for the university. I think it is a brilliant representation of what we do at Galen University. It is a brilliant representation of all the programs that they are studying and how it all comes together to express the need for us to be unified as a people, regardless of where we are from, um, to resolve today's problems. Today's unveiling had the attendance of the Board of Directors, students, parents, and Galen supporters.